Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. We have a friend who is going through some tough times, so we wanted to buy him a car, to help him get back on his feet. So I found a good deal on Craigslist, set the appointment with the owner, and took off. I told the guy that we would take it, no matter what, so don't sell it to someone else before we get there. He promised that he would hold it. The car was over a hundred miles away, so it took about three hours to get there because of traffic. When we were about two miles away, the guy called my cell, and said he sold it. I was shocked. He knew we were buying it for a homeless person, but he couldn't care less. Some people are just scammers. Even though Craigslist is bursting with scammers, it's certainly not the only place where people take advantage of one another. The internet has become such a phenomenal opportunity for disseminating valid information. You can get a real education from just watching videos on YouTube. But then you have the scammers. There are so many scammers online that it is utterly amazing. The problem is that they are really good at what they do. A great example is the Flat Earth Syndrome. What started out as a joke, has turned into a scammer's paradise. People without morals put up deceptive content, in order to drive traffic to their site, so they can get monetized, and make a living off their misinformation. It's kind of frustrating to see people make a living off of deceiving other human beings, but that is the culture in which we live. Can the Flat Earthers document their fairy tale? Absolutely not. It's their unscientific worldview, being presented as reality. But that level of deception and misinformation is not just left to the scumbags and ne'er-do-wells. It's in the government-mandated public school system. In the science classes of the government-controlled indoctrination system, they teach the undocumented and unscientific pablum, known as abiogenesis. Abiogenesis is the erroneous hypothesis, that life started on Earth, all by itself, from non-living chemicals. Can the government document their fairy tale? Absolutely not. It's their unscientific worldview, being presented as reality. So what is the difference between the Flat Earthers, and those who teach abiogenesis? Nothing. They are two peas in a pod, they are parallel universes, they are birds of a feather. They are brothers, from another mother. But how can this be? One is considered a conspiracy theory for whack jobs, the other is the ultimate intellectual foundation. Do either worldviews have a shred of evidence? Absolutely not. Yet one is ridiculed as insanity, and the other is heralded as the epitome of scientific understanding. It all comes down to who is controlling the narrative. Right now, it's a free-for-all online. You can pretty much say whatever crazy thing you want to online, and you will find those gullible enough to believe your unfounded musings. Where it all gets to be a bit more nefarious, is when it is endorsed by the government, and force-fed to our kids in the public school indoctrination system. Can you imagine the reaction of the parents, if they found out that the schools were teaching that the earth was flat? They would come unglued. The reaction would be swift and severe. Trust me, the guillotines would be sharpened, and heads would roll with impunity. But the hypothesis of abiogenesis, has no more evidence, than the flat earthers. So what's the difference? One is a conspiracy theory that has no theological implications, the other is the very foundation of the government's atheistic worldview. Abiogenesis is literally impossible, but it must be taught as a fact, because it is the basis of all atheistic beliefs. If abiogenesis falls, so does their atheistic house of cards. They must defend the deception, at all cost. Even when their hypotheses have no evidence. Even when it contradicts all science and logic. And why is that? Because they don't care about science. They don't care about facts. They don't care about evidence. They only care about protecting their atheistic worldview. Attacking their fable of abiogenesis, is like attacking their mother, expect the fangs to come out. The problem with teaching unfounded fables to our kids, is that it is just plain wrong. 
I don't send my kids to school to have the government indoctrinate them with their atheistic worldview. If you absolutely must teach such undocumented mythology, at least tell the kids that there is absolutely no evidence for the government's folklore of abiogenesis, and provide legitimate alternative options, such as creationism. The vast majority of civilization has accredited the beginning of life, to God, for over 10,000 years. If you are going to come along and challenge that assertion, you best come to the table with evidence. Otherwise, your fabricated science fiction, falls flat on its face, just like the flat earthers. Two peas in a pod my friend, two peas in a pod. Peace be unto you and your house. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's truth. That's reality. The government atheists can neither prove what they believe, nor disprove, what we believe. So embrace your creator, for he is the original singularity.